save our planet. Health risks increased by climate change. Indonesian Health Ministry's Director General of Disease Control and Environmental Health, Chandra Yoga Aditama, recently warned that climate change is increasing people's vulnerability to illness across the nation. These include skin cancer and respiratory complications. Furthermore, continued land degradation and its associated biodiversity loss, leading to variations in previously steady ecosystem patterns, would speed the spread of disease and the dwindling of water resources. Rising temperatures along extremes of both rainy and dry seasons also create conditions more conducive for waterborne, airborne and animal-borne disease. Climate-related health hazards are also becoming increasingly apparent elsewhere in the world. As noted by Professor Tony McMichael of the National Center for Epidemiology and Population yeah, Health at Australian water. National right. University, um, speaking with Supreme Master Television, Professor McMichael explained on, some of uh, the fundamental necessities that are imperiled by climate change. Well, the basic essentials for health, I think, uh, a secure food supply, uh, a good fresh water supply, um, normal constraints, limitations on uh, the spread of infectious agents, um, reasonable protection against uh, physical hazards, sort of protection that's provided by intact coastal zones, mangrove swamps, forests and so on, um, and a reasonably stable climate system. Those things are absolutely crucial in the long term for um, human well-being, health and of course survival and those are the things that are being put at risk by climate change and by these, these other enormous environmental changes um, that we're seeing in, uh, in, in these, these modern times. Eco-conscious protective measures are thus vital to our future. This is a, a chance for us to, um, to think seriously about how we can live sustainably uh, in ways that are convivial, congenial, not competitive, don't involve um, unpleasantness and conflict, don't involve um, inequities whereby some people miss out on um, scarce resources because they're being overused and poorly managed. Professor McMichael and Indonesia's Health Ministry, we appreciate your thoughtful efforts to raise awareness of such worrisome yet important information. Let us seek to adopt the most eco-caring measures to benefit the environment and all beings with whom we share the earth.